What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over Data C Inc. Tinker symbol is DTSS right here on the top left hand side of your screen. And it's currently trading at a price of 92.8 cents per share. And it has fallen off from some of these recent highs of about $3.61 back on April 21st of last year. Since then, it has been slowly and steadily declining. Um, it did recently hit a new low of 85 cents per share, but slightly bounced back up. And the RSI signal is indicating that they are almost oversold. But before I get into this video, video and break this down and talk about the recent news and catalyst and the reason behind this move, I do want to say this is, this is a paid promotion and this is not financial advice. Be sure to do your own research before investing and only invest what you can afford to lose. And with that said, let's get right into this video. So if we take a look over here on their official website, datacinc.com, under company profile, you can see that they're a publicly traded entity with the ticker symbol DTSS on the NASDAQ, and they were incorporated in Nevada on September 26th of 2014. The vision of Data C is to become a multinational conglomerate in a decade through the mission of innovating and providing advanced technology to business and retail customers. The company possesses cutting edge products and solutions in three major industries, 5G messaging, acoustic intelligence, and smart city. Up to date, Data C, Shehu, Beijing, and its subsidiaries own 29 patents and 117 software copyrights and PRC in core technologies to empower and grow our business. You can also see they have their news and events listed here. They have their stock, press release, events and presentations, financials, frequently asked questions, all of this listed over here on their website if you guys are interested in checking this out for yourselves. If we take a look at some of the recent news with Data C, you can see that they did announce a new 5G messaging recharge service agreement. And this is pretty recent, came out about a week ago on May 23rd of 2023. You can see that they announced that one of their subsidiaries of the Chinese operating company contractually controlled by this company has entered into a 5G messaging recharge, recharge excuse me, service agreement with Quazen Hulian Technology. I'm not going to be pronouncing that right. But you can see that they are an avant-garde service enterprise and serves their clients from multifarious sectors encompassing new media, smart education, and exhibitions with top-tier information services such as online mobile phone recharge for all major telecom services providers in China. The company believes that the agreement strategically places Data C at the epicenter of the rapidly evolving 5G landscape and provide, by providing consistent 5G message recharge system to Kwazen and its users. Data C fortifies its commitment to leading innovation while enhancing its product portfolio client diversification, and brand recognition. The collaborative approach to developing bespoke systems catering to client needs further underscores Data C's client-centric echoes and its dedication to delivering superior customer ser service. And also down here, you can see the agreement co complements a mutually beneficial agreement with Quazen Hulian procuring recharge services in the range of, a, of 10 to 500 RMB. This transaction has the potential to expand Data C's 5G top up business scope and under the agreement, they estimate that it will purchase up to 5 million RMB per month over the next year, subject to final confirmation of orders. So obviously this partnership is great news. They are expanding the, you know, their 5G imprint. And I think the 5G industry as a whole is going to be one that's rapidly growing and see some huge gains in the future as that industry is still relatively untapped and pretty new. But next, if we take a look over here at Fintel and take a, take a look at the short interest with DTSS. You can see that over here on the right-hand side of your screen under FINRA short volume ratio, all of these numbers in this far right-hand column are the amount of shares or the percentage of the daily shares traded that are being sold short. So to kind of sum that up, you can see the market date 530. That was yesterday. You can see that on that day, there was 20.30% of all the shares traded yesterday were being sold short. The day before that, it was 7.9, 17%, 25%, 35% on May 19th and as high as 29.25 on the 16th. So, you know, nothing really crazy in terms of short interest with this company it does fluctuate quite a bit. And when it reaches something like 35%, that's a pretty high amount. So if they do get good news like this, like these kind of announcements, it could have the stock shoot up in kind of a mini short squeeze type movement, kind of like they saw back here in February and March of last year when they ran up from a price of about $1.25 all the way to that high of $3.61 per share. If we take a look down here and zoom in a little bit further, you can see, like I mentioned at the start of this video, they are kind of falling off and selling down uh, to that recent low of $0.85. Cents. They're kind of trying to hold this level. I think they could go down a little bit further, maybe $0.5, $0.10 cents lower, down to maybe $0.80 cents per share before bouncing back up. But I do think they will do just that. I think they are 
oversold at this price and undervalued. I think they're going to see a move kind of similar to this. Obviously, this will be sustained over a longer period of time. But nonetheless, there is no real reason for this big of a drop. I know they have been selling off these past few months, but dipping all the way down to 85 cents per share with all these technical indicators indicating they are oversold, I think they will have a bounce back up to a price of about $1.25 per share, somewhere in this range that they were trading in for these past few weeks. I think that's a short-term price target for them, and I do think they have the potential to run even higher in the future months in the future year. I think this will be a great long-term investment, but I do think you will have to hold your shares in this company for a longer period of time to see sustained long-term gains. But with that said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.